What's up? This is TJM2, and this is my Chicago White Sox MLB The Show, fifth, or 15 The Show franchise on PS4. As you can see, we are about to take on the Baltimore Orioles with Carlos Rodon making his first Major League start. Looking to make big things happen as Timmy Anderson, Tyler Saladino, and um, can't remember, Matt Davidson all make their MLB debut tonight in Baltimore. Here's we have lost the two first two games of the series. We'll be going up against Kevin Gossman starting who is two and two this year. So we're looking to hopefully have a pretty good game and you know do what we're capable of which is we can really hold a team down for a while if we have good pitching which we've had decent pitching all year we're under 500 right at the moment but looking to get up there and hopefully win some games you know but as the Baltimore Orioles take the field in their nice orange unities they beat a 6-3 and 3 to nothing with Kazmir and Danks taking the loss for there and Danks after that last start has been moved to the bullpen that's why Rodon is up as we move somebody down from the bullpen, which I cannot remember off the top of my head. Another person that you will probably not see in the next video is JB Shuck. As he is getting a little spot start here, but he has been sent down to the minors after this for really not performing that well with a 222 average. I think two RBIs. That's not what we want to see out of even a nine hole hitter. We want to see a little better than that. He needs a little time down in AAA to get his crap together really and that's why he's playing right field as he is replacing Avisail Garcia as Bonifacio is now our left fielder with Micah Johnson starting at second base for probably here on out until one of our outfielding prospects is ready to play left field as you see there not really anybody struggling in there except Travis Snyder he is under oh and Ryan Flaherty I guess they are both under two, on 200 points, batting average points. But Rodon is number 80, right there, lefty, 6'3", right 235, and he is 21 years old. This is our future in pitching right now, as he is another lefty that we have. Still four lefties and then Samarja. But here's our bat, or no, here's the bottom of the first, and we'll get the snag there. And we're out of that inning. End of the first right there, you know. So we didn't even get to see the top of the first stuff, which I forgot to add in there, but, uh, oops. Here, top of the second now, here. And Tyler Saladino with the little pull hit down the third base line, getting his first career MLB hit. Playing first base tonight for the resting Adam LaRoche, who was big, and here they're giving it to another guy making his MLB debut, Matt Davidson. Here, next batter up is Micah Johnson. Micah Johnson's going to pull down the first baseline. Saladino's going to go to third, and Johnson gets his first MLB hit. And I think his sixth game, he's been struggling a little bit. But, I mean, it's either let J.B. Shuck play or Micah Johnson play. I'd rather have Micah Johnson all day. As they'll give that to the rook, Matt Davidson, once again. Apparently he's on duty today. Maybe he can get his first career hit. Here, he's showing him he got it. He's got it for sure. Here now, next batter up, Giovanni Soto hits it straight up the gut, and we will get the run in. We are now up one to nothing. RBI by Soto. Here Bonifacio up in the top of the third, and he will take this one deep to left center field, and gone. Apparently, I didn't think they had enough carry, but it's gone. Bonifacio with a home run. Big home run, putting up the White Sox up so two to nothing. Here to field, and and the White Sox here, that's going to help us because Carlos Rodon is looking okay right now. He's not looking too bad. And Bob is pumped up. Lead off, batter get, lead off batter getting a home run. I'll take that any day. 
385 feet, that's not a bad shot there to deep left center field. But, I mean, here Adam Jones just could not believe it, I don't think, as that bounced into the White Sox bullpen on the upper little level there. But now two outs and a strikeout from Rodon on Joseph. Joseph will strike out against Carlos Rodon. And Rodon is dealing at this moment in... Here is it. We go through the bottom of the fourth after a sacrifice fly. Up now two to one. And here, now in the bottom of the fifth, two out. Steve Pierce up and Rodon strikes him out just as fast as he got up. Carlos Rodon getting out of the inning here. Look at that upper deck right there. Nobody up there really. Kind of amazing says the Baltimore Orioles are first place in their division. But here now bottom of the sixth, here Dalman Young up, Carlos Rodon with the pitch, 1-1 one, one count, and this will be hit straight to Tim Beckham, or er, Tim Anderson, Tim Beckham, that's a raised shortstop, Tim Anderson, and Tim Anderson will gun him out at first, Carlos Rodon now with one out, 1-2 one, count, and he'll strike out, who is that? I think that's Steve Pierce, yes, I think, I believe so. And here now, here, who is this? This is Ryan Flaherty. I'm guessing that last guy was Travis Snyder then. Ryan Flaherty grounds out to Tyler Saladino, and we get out of the inning. And after six, it's two to one still. White Sox up. And Tim Anderson up, one one count, and he'll get the pitch from Gossman. He's going to line that one down the left field line. He's going to go two, and he'll be in there with the stand-up double as he leads off the inning just right and getting his first major league hit, number 87. Kind of an odd number, but it doesn't look too bad on him as they'll give it to the third base coach here, and I believe McEwing, and he'll give that to Matt Davidson, I believe, who still doesn't have a hit. Kind of disappointing as he's going to be our third baseman from here on out, and that Last hit by Tyler Anderson knocks Kevin Gossman out of the game. Kevin Gossman put up a pretty good game, only allowing five hits through six innings and two earned runs. But they'll bring in Tommy Hunter, who's had four games and a 9.0 ERA in five innings. Two walks and five strikeouts. That's a little rough right there. He still didn't get the loss, though, so apparently they're already doing bad. But here... Now, Tyler Saladino is going to hit this one up the middle. Adam Jones is going to come up throwing. This ball is going to be right on the money to get Tim Anderson. What an amazing throw for, by Adam Jones. But here, Giovanni Soto, next man up. They're still going to get one run. And then you can add another one on there as Soto goes deep to left field. Off of Tommy Hunter, just adding to that ERA right there. As the White Sox now are up 4-1. to one after a deep a shot from shot Soto. Left, Soto has looked okay here and he might one. be able, if he plays like this, he might be able to pass Flowers for starting catcher. I think here there's a lot of lineup shaking up coming up as we've sent down and we've caught up some prospects and really our prospects aren't doing too bad. They're normally pretty good fielders. Saladino's probably going to play shortstop a little more than plays first. Because he, well, he's not doing, so when far this game, this he hasn't done great at picking game, the ball, as you, but you haven't like seen that. that. You gotta be there was that one error that you keep seeing. That, that was a Tim Anderson throw that was in the dirt, the but the it bounced ball. out of Saladino's glove. And that was the run who actually scored on the sack fly, I believe. But Tommy Hunter knew that was gone right after it was hit. But Rodon still rolling in the seventh. And he'll get Machado to pop up. Here, and we're getting Bonifacio charge in, but that's going to go over his shoulder, and Adam Eaton's going to catch that. It's a little awkward right there, but we'll take that anytime if we can get the out. Davidson's still looking for his first tip. He's looked a little rough, you could say. And Flowers is going to get a single here, or double here, I think. Yeah, double, and that'll score another run. It's 5-1 to one White Sox now. As Flowers getting a nice double in the gap to get the White Sox up four runs. As he just took that one hard into left center. And here, that's going to score a run. But now we'll bring in Zach Putnam. 
Yep, seven games, 3.72 ERA and 9.2 innings pitch, six walks and 11 strikeouts. He's looked pretty good this year. And here, Adam Jones, 3-2 count, and he gives them a little pitch that he can pretty much cream here as Bonifacio is not going to take that off. And that's a home run for Adam Jones, which will bring the Orioles within, I believe, four runs, or no, three runs now. As this has been pretty much a blowout this whole time. And but Carlos Rodon, once he goes out, and they Zach Putnam gives up a homer. And, I mean, it is what it is, though. I don't think we're going to blow the game here at this point. I think we're still looking good enough as Zach Putnam's been good all year and here just left that pitch up in the zone on a 3-2 count Adam Jones has already battled off like five pitches just left it up in the zone as Delman Young will take this one to left left field and Bonifacio will easily get under it and David Robertson comes on in the night to get, try to get the save he's only had one blown save this year and here first batter Travis Snyder popping up to Tyler Saladino. Our next batter here, one batter later, Joseph striking out. Robertson gets the save. Rodon gets his first major league win. And the White Sox bench is happy for now as all these rooks making their major league debut are pumped that they did it and all these guys that got rest today because of them are pumped because now they're ready to go tomorrow and I think I think that our team looked really good I think here if we play like this more often that we can have a lot better year than what we're having as of right now and I think still though I want another right-handed arm in the um, rotation whether that be Hector Noesi or whether it be somebody we find on the trade block maybe AJ Burnett he's on there right now through the month of April as you see our next game you know you'll see in a little bit that our next game is not in April it's in May against the Tigers <laughs> where we'll have Tigers I guess second best pitcher as of right now with David Price on the mound, well, Justin Verlander against our this ace Chris Sale as the Tigers have played one more game than us so we would not get to face Price in this one and Price I believe got them the win I mean you'll see in a second and the Tigers are actually now fifth place in the standings from going from first to worst in our division in a matter of a week or two as we skip them as we're in fourth but a half a game behind third and I believe three and a half games behind first through the month of April let's just not not let that gap get any bigger and and these Tigers are looking okay at 13 14 but they went worse to first like I said and we are 13 13 as I will see you next time we leave the series 1-0 this has been a TJM2 production field to match up against the White Sox the White Sox came away with the win. Final score was 5-2. Jose Abreu had a huge...